Harrington event, which is a relatively minor CME, if we had one today, it would fry everything. We wouldn't be doing this interview. We probably wouldn't be here. Or on the face of the planet, maybe. So do you think that the destruction of Atlantis could be the result of mm -hmm. a coronal mass ejection coming from the sun? That's that's the that's the the best theory that we have to date. That's that Robert Schock's working on this, and it's based upon the very solid, um, un woo woo work of a plasma physicist named Anthony Anthony Parat, who works at the uh, um, for the Los Alamos uh, whatever it is nuclear uh, research center, and so the the evidence is is getting better and better for that like all of the evidence we've been talking about it's complicated what do you think about the fact that this coronal mass ejection this massive solar event occurred exactly one half of the precession of the equinoxes ago in in actual years um it might just be coincidence as far as i know the people who are studying the, the, you know, the sequence, the CMEs, have not found a periodicity to it. It's not as though it's, kind of, so far, anyone can find that it happens every 12,000 years or every 20, 36,000 years or anything like that. But that it does happen periodically, that seems to be well established. And Shock is of the opinion, and it's an informed opinion, that we're sort of ready for one now. And if it happens, which doesn't mean, when he says that, it doesn't mean that it's tomorrow, and it doesn't even mean that it's next century, but somewhere in the centuries come, to come, the, the chances of one happening, he thinks are pretty good. Plato's uh, Timaeus <coughs> and Critias, of course, he mentions Atlantis in, in the books, but the conventional theory is, well, People who think that Atlantis existed, they're just basing it off of Plato. Do you believe that there's any other information besides Plato's original account that would support the idea of this global civilization? Sure. I mean, there's, there's our work, there's, there's Schwaller's work, there's Laird Scranton's work, there's all the stuff that Graham has been working on. There, I mean, there's Gobekli Tepe that disappears, that they cut, bury, that they cover over deliberately now in... Indonesia, there's Gunung Padang, which looks as though it's fantastically ancient. There's a ton of evidence out there. Um, but, uh, but the Plato myth itself is complicated. Most people, the Atlantis hunters are always looking every month. Somebody says it's here, it's there, it's somewhere else. The Atlantis hunters are basically looking only at Plato. There's a very interesting book called The Pythagorean Plato by a musicologist and Sufi named Ernest G. McLean. I think he may still be alive, he'd be 10 years older or so than I am, that's old, in which he demonstrates pretty convincingly that the, that as the, the, the story of, Plato, of Atlantis as told by Plato is actually a musical allegory designed to inform his musically initiated pupils of, the, of how harmony um, in music representing the the philosopher king degenerates into tyranny through by by musical rules actually and initially as i understand it mclean was completely didn't want to even hear about the sphinx which is you know which actually basically proves that there was an atlantis within inverted quotes and somewhere along the line i understand i never got in touch with him weird i could have his book came out around the same time as the serpent now i'm about to rewrite um, upgrade my, not, not the serpent, but uh, the Traveler's Key, which is my mm. guidebook to Egypt, and that will incorporate McLean's work, because I think what it is, is that Plato actually gets the story, the basic story of Atlantis, of cataclysm and destruction of civilization from Solon, his grandfather, and then turns that into this musical allegory um, of, of how harmony becomes disharmony. Mm. So both are actually valid and are complementary rather than antithetical to each other. Well, you mentioned something that's new and that most mm. people don't know about, which is Gnu Padang. Mm. 